Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And today, our last video about budget. So this is a series of video, and all of other videos, they are in our video description. And why this is our last video? Because we end our budget with our budget balance sheet. On the budget balance sheet, we need to combine everything. We need to combine the cash budget, production budget, sales budget, uh, income statement budget, capital expenditures budget, and so on. We need to combine all of our budgets in only one. And let's go to our Excel file. Uh, and all of our Excel files, they are free to download, and the link is in our video description. So here we have all of our budgets that we worked in our previous video. So you can check it there. Uh, and balance sheet, usually we don't do it monthly. We do it only at the end of our period here, at the end of our year. So assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity. So here, let's have some formulas here. Total current assets is the sum of our current assets. Total assets, current assets plus property, plant, and equipment. Current liabilities, the sum of our current liabilities. Uh, we don't have non-current non, non liabilities, so total stockholders' equity, common stock plus retained earnings, and total liabilities and stockholders' equity. Current liabilities plus stockholders' equity. And let's see if we can balance this guy here. Cash equal combined cash ending balance of cash. That is our ending cash balance here. We can do it December or total. It will be the same number. Accounts receivable. Our uh, policy is... So our sales are cash sales, credit sales. We receive these credit sales the month after our sales. So our ending balance of accounts receivable will be the credit sales of December. And we have no bad debits here. Raw materials inventory. We have two raw materials. Direct materials one and direct materials two. So we need to combine them. Equal direct materials one ending inventory again December or total will be the same so forty five thousand however this is forty five thousand units not dollars so times the cost per unit or the cost per pound here so forty five thousand times for fifty two oh two However, we need the direct material number two. So plus direct material number two, 12,000 units times 6.5. That is our cost. So here, $280,000. Finished goods. Finished goods. We need to go to production. That is where we have the ending inventory for. 8 thousand units. Again, it doesn't matter total or December. How much is the cost per unit here? This cost per unit, we are talking about finished goods. So we need to combine direct materials, direct labor, manufacturing overhead, and we have this one in the cost of goods, of goods sold sheet. That is the cost per case, absorption cost, because we are talking about Financial statements, balance sheet, so we need to use the absorption cost. So $93,450,000. Property paint and equipment, we are talking about capital expenditures. $3.5 million. The total, we combine office and manufacturing equipment. However, we have a problem here. We have depreciation, so we need to deduct our depreciation where are they if you if we go back to our whoa 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 here if we come back to our 
uh, capital expenditures, we have office and manufacturing. So part of our depreciation will be in our operating expenses because we have no beginning balance. So no beginning balance of accumulated depreciation. And part of it will be in our manufacturing overhead. So let's come back to balance sheet here. Let's go back to the formula less. First of all, manufacturing overhead, depreciation, we have this total here, 170. Less operating expenses, we have depreciation here, 95. So we have here total assets, 9 million. Uh, $164,000. And let's check if the total liabilities and stockholders' equity will be the same. Let's pray and do our job. Accounts payable. We have here the company policy is the total uh, uh, cost of direct materials purchase. This purchase here, we will pay the month after our purchase. So our accounts payable will be the direct materials one and two purchase of December. Oh, so let's do it. Accounts payable. Direct materials purchase here, December, plus direct materials number two, December. All of our costs and operating expenses, they are paid in cash. Other current liabilities, line of credit. That is, if we have problems with our cash. Let's go to combined cash here. It is these numbers here, the new borrowing number. So we are paying here. We need money in January. We are paying in February. We need money in February. We are paying in March and so on. So we are paying the next month. So it is December here. Nothing. Common stock, we have no beginning balance because we are a new company. So where is the common stock? Common stock, investors investing money. So it is in our cash, combined cash here, common stocks only in January. So we go to our total, one million. Retained earnings, it is in our income statement, seven million dollars here. Whoa, it doesn't match. Why? Because I we are missing some numbers here. And we are missing retained earnings. Remember, it is financial accounting, but it's quite easy. The formula of retained earnings. Beginning balance plus net income less dividends. Let's check if we have dividends. If we have dividends. Dividends is a, a cash payment. Let's come back. Cash payment for our dividends. We have dividends here. So we need to subtract it from our retained earnings. So retained earnings less cash payment for dividends. Less $5,000. And now we have a balance, uh, balance sheet. So we are good here balance sheet it is easy but we need to take care about our formulas and about our policies to know what is cash and credit and so on and to not forget anything most common mistakes for forgetting dividends forgetting depreciation and forgetting these accounts receivable and accounts payable considering everything in cash. So these are our most common mistakes. Okay, guys, so this is our balance sheet. Thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Subscribe our channel, like our Facebook page, uh, and like our video. Okay, guys, that, that's it. Uh, thank you. Have a very nice day. And God bless you.